and we are back and we are old and I don't really have a feeling for aging yet. I also don't know which speed I should play at. Um, usually I play at 3, but 3 in this feels a lot quicker uh, than it does in Crusader Kings 2. That's another thing I just kind of noticed because we went from... I don't know, how old were we? Early 20s or something to 53 and apparently being a doddering old man in a very short amount of time. So let's see what issues do we have. An alliance with this man. Um, sure, let us negotiate an alliance with this man who is part of my... He's one of my sons, isn't he? That's good. Usurp this duchy of Toro. But we cannot because we don't have the money. Uh, let's get our family members married. Sure. Another alliance in here. Another call to war. I think our vassal called us to war against what? Uh, right, we'll, we'll raise some of our armies, raise our main troops here, not everyone, we'll help out with these. Alright, it looks kind of like it's all troops, I only wanted some troops. Right, let's get some more marriages going. Um, this here, and he can get, I don't know, this is a claim on the vassal, get this here, still don't have a physician. to control my troops please in this way I don't like that I have to have alliances with these people there's no option to not have an alliance I am really not the biggest fan of that It was nicer that a marriage didn't necessarily mean an alliance, but just a non-aggression pact sometimes. Okay, we can create this duchy now, except we don't have the money. Join this battle, which is of course good. Encyclopedia. Uh. Abandoned celibacy. Absolute control. A befriend scheme. Work to witchcraft scheme. A romance scheme. Types of schemes. Okay, we are well supplied, but this goes down each month. However, while we siege, the supply does not seem to go down. Why is this not auto-expanding anymore? Oh no. We have to mediate, but we are going to get stress either way. Let's try and make them see sense, which was successful. Very good. We are overwhelmed by stress, so that should give us more money now. I I do believe. Don't you dare come my way, you little raider. At least raiders don't seem to be able to abduct your stuff anymore.
We have one victory. I think they increased our holdings. Like that. Bring home the troops and disband them. I'm not happy I don't have a button for that anymore. Prefer if I had it. So right, I think I wanted to go this way. And we wanted to go for this chiefdom here. 375. I can call in my own allies, uh, my own vassals as allies, which is a bit weird. This is new. Doesn't have to be bad, but it's certainly a little bit strange. So this is an ally, this is an ally. I like that you can see now who's an ally. Like just straight off the bat, no trouble. You can immediately tell who is an ally and who isn't. All to war. Who are you? You're calling me to do what? We want to... Oh, what are you attacking? Kuranko or something? I don't know what that is. Join me in the Mandigian. Who's defending? All to war. I call you to honor and join me in the Mandigian conquest of. Okay, so he's defending. Yeah, as a defender. But this guy is also my ally. He likes me better. So I'm not gonna join him. See what we can do here. Conquer the duchy. I think I'd rather go for the county. Because the duchy really doesn't matter all that much. Though... We are capable of having duchy vassals now, since we're a king, I forgot. Let's see, what do we belong to? De jour. Empire of Guinea. Okay, so that's a... Uh, that's quite a bit for us to still go. I like that you can see how much you already have of it. So we need everything here in the north. At least we need this piece. And everything to the east bar. So let's take this piece from him and ignore whatever that is. And I want this here. Do I have a rally post up here? No, but if we rally here, that's uh, just good enough for me. So we can see where he might be going. And we can cut him off early on. How is... How are the supplies going down? Let's get him. Okay, so they recently disembarked, so we definitely get a huge benefit. Plus, he has very few troops. 
Oh good, we have a military engineer with us. I don't like that it just deselected my army. I would have preferred if it didn't deselect my army. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Now the sun is grown up, we're going to station besiegers and use the rest of our troops to fight him. As it were. Another one of our sons was wounded. And now we can go and siege this as well. Why is it constantly deselecting the army? That's a bit weird. Now he has to walk quite a bit to get to us. Seems like our vassals are doing some conquering of their own, so at least they're trying to. It's definitely doing something. Betrothed can marry, send the proposal and enjoy the acceptance of said proposal. You need a guardian, I don't know who you are. A son, let's make you militarily Sound. Powerful vassals want council positions. Quite a few, actually. We have someone good for this who's powerful. Really? Is any of the powerful good at anything? Not really, but they also love us enough without being on the council, so I don't really need to bother right now because now having people who are really bad in place is just severely hampering men at arms maintenance for dread don't think it really does anything because i don't believe we have dread despite one of our sons disliking us for being so dreadful as we are uh you marry her. Another one comes of age who will then be able to marry. Oh my god. There's so much going on. It's just so much. How old are you? 16. Get you a 16 year old. I don't care, it costs him 300 prestige. can lawfully imprison that lady here. We are in, in line to inherit titles. These are our sons here. That's fine. God. We want alliance power up here. Duchy of... Where's that? Does it say potential alliance? What's these guys? Yeah, let's go with the younger one. So the alliance lasts a bit longer. That's a fairly decent sized thing there. Um, who else can marry? No, that's the same lady we just tried to marry. Titles can be created. Oh, we can create another kingdom title. What do we need for creating the empire here? We only have 14 of 77. We do not have 500 gold. We could... I don't know, we already need an empire title to create the empire of Guinea. So, decisions. 
Found a new empire. We need money, prestige, and piety, but I don't think we need anything else. No secondary kingdom titles or anything. That's so weird. That's really weird. Alliance invalid. Okay, because this guy is no longer a ruler. Oh! Oh no, that's de jour. So this guy is no longer ruler. We could probably potentially also take this Loma here. That's that. Enforce our demands. Okay, let's boom, stand these down already. I don't feel I don't feel like going on a pilgrimage at this age anymore. Okay, so our troops are disbanded. I think we can use another rally point in the north. How many can I have? And we can use another rally point here. And 50 piety for the conquering of this duchy. Are you at war already? It looks like you are. Conquest of that which you're losing. And you're allied to this guy. So he's coming for this piece here. I don't think we need it for Guinea. Oh no, this is part of the du jour, what we want. These guys are standing there. Let's just see. Like the Duchy of Loma, please. Let's hope we can actually do that. There's our troops here. We have to basically defeat both their attacker. Let's try and strike another deal with the Masons. Likely to fail. Oh no, it worked. Cooperative Stone Masons for 20 years. Right. Balanced. We'll just siege this then. No need to fight these guys. Do have a need to fight those guys if they choose to go further and try and siege our stuff there. Why do you keep deselecting my army? Stop it. So we caught out a bit of their army, which is nice for us. Let's go attack them once more. Oh no. My champion Fody is wounded. Not good. Don't want your champion to be wounded. <laughs> He's trying to sneak around us. Okay, we are very stressed. We have reached stress level 1, except it says 3 up there. 
We could become reclusive, which I don't know it, what it means. We already have the confessor, confider trait, so we'll just we'll just go with this. I don't want reclusive because I don't know what it means. Oh, there. Now let's stay with this. Yeah, no longer overwhelmed by stress. Now I need to select my army again. And hopefully have some battle with these guys. And now we can go here. Potentially, if the game allows me to move my armies. Which it doesn't always seem to want. We definitely want to hold everything. Could also assault the fort, but I am not doing that stuff. They are roaming around my land. Too big of a fan there. We'll just fend them off by existing until we have the 100%. Voice of Reason, another council meeting, another conflict. Uh, we always go for the compromise. We found a good compromise. Lovely. Lovely. Okay, there we go. Enforce our demands. Enforce demands. So be it. All this is now ours. But is it also mine? Like, do I own it? Yeah. What war am I still in? Something in the north? Empty council position. That's not good. Let's see if we can't find a good one from the strong ones. Yeah, he's good. And another marshal. He's also decent for that. I'm, I'm feeling way overwhelmed all the time here. So much stuff going on. Our troops could definitely stand some standing down. Oh, the the war for this here has switched over. Since I now hold it, he's fighting me and no longer this guy. And it looks like we've won. What do we get? We get 38 gold. We get... Yeah, that's okay. I'm fine with taking that war over. It was basically one anyway. Why is this still blinking red? Okay, it's no longer blinking red. So let's stand on our troops. May they find some rest and respite. And we definitely need to take care of this stuff here. Uh, and give it to someone. This is the Duchy of Loma. And I... No, I don't hold everything here. I hold just these two pieces. So let us make a new Duke of Loma. He's my prisoner? Why is he my prisoner? How are you my prisoner? Why? We'll just release him. Or ransom him. Hey, give me 50 gold, boy. I have 12 children. There we go. There's all 12. Grand title, you get this. Grand title, you get that. And you... Uh, Grand title that... 
the shield of what is that? Not this one. Not this one. What touchy is that? Only have two these two touchies. Touchy of Loma. This one here. We create that. And we give it to him. Uh okay. All right. Oops. I want to do the same up here as well. Why don't you have a duchy? Because I have it. And because I hold stuff there too. You don't get a duchy. Right. What else? Duchy of Toro, which is this thing. Duchy of Sapi. That one I want for myself. So I will keep myself the duchy of Bono and give up the duchy of Bassa I assume so this guy here on titles you get the duchy of Bassa Probably. I can likely create a duchy title up there to duchy of Toro, yeah. I do like fairly even uh, duchies, that's, that's one of my kinks, you know. Good deal indeed. Our son paying us to be released, which I had planned for him anyway. Ransom. He pays money to me. Sure, have her. Uh, let's see our prisoners. Are we cook now. We cook now. I want money, people? Anyone here any good? Cute intellectual. Uh, demand conversion, recruit, and we gain a hook. And you will join me. How do I have dread? By the way, this is the worst prison. As like these bars and everything behind there is, is free. Anna. Kind of weird. I don't have dread. <laughs> Boima underscore Kona. Great thing. Available perks. Okay. Detailed ledgers. Republican ruler opinion. We, d we don't have a republic so far, so it doesn't really matter. At any cost, can use a sell titles decision. I don't think I want to sell titles. I like this view with the little thingies pointing to where it's where, where someone belongs. So what to do with you? Honestly, this feels very... Okay. Ah. Can I afford this? Yeah, I can definitely afford this. 
What do you have that I want? Everything. But I think I will take the biggest part of you. 5,330. A lot. Let's check our own military situation. So we have 10 champions. And we need to still force the good ones. We have bad ones we would like to replace. Could recruit this guy, but I don't really want to. These are all three out of three, I think. We can create ourselves some more men at arms. Some more bowmen. Because a lot of these have skirmishers. But I also like horses. They don't have a negative modifier out here so much. They're also very expensive. They do counter archers, but I don't see all that many archers. So we, we'd rather go with more archers. And instantly increase this size to three. We have 600 archers. And I think I'll add some horses at some point. Be a good idea. Oh, what else do you want? Okay, son, you're free to go for a little bit of money. I still don't know where I can check the succession laws for this. Male preference. Add laws. Okay. And the Navy an elective. Anistry elective. Male only, male preference. Already have male preference. So as long as we are tribal ruler, we are locked into confederate partition. Upon succession, all titles held by the ruler will be divided amongst their eligible children, with the player heir always being given the primary title, realm, capital, and any direct de jure titles associated with it. So if we create another kingdom title, we are going to lose that one. So we're not gonna. Everything else is going to be divided up. Our grandson is our heir and ward, still going on and strong. He is charming, which I think is just lovely. And we find you something with alliance power now. Why is there no kid? Do we have anything weird here? Fertility fertile. Yeah, that sounds good. There are no children. It's all old ladies compared to him, that is. Now let's go by age, maybe. There we go. So he is nine. So we're going to go toward nine as a claims palace claim on the kingdom of Carnum honest Yeah, let's do that. Maybe we can at some point press her claim on Karnam and inherit stuff or something. Kingdom of Yenna seems to be eaten up by Mr. Ghana. I like that you can jump. Uh... Wait, I need to switch this again. Uh, settings, game, time lock. I need to increase the lock delay. 
This is going to be annoying. But it's good for something, because I want to be... God damn it. I want to... I want to click on those names that are highlighted clearly. But if I click this, then I don't get the names. <sighs> so. Who are you? Cornithene. And... Ato... Atoapem? Corinthena and Corinthena, so this one. We have to try and murder her. Effects on you. Gain 60 stress because we are compassionate. Five percent predicted success chance five percent. Every month there is a predicted president in progress based on scheme power versus scheme resistance. Okay, now that doesn't sound really appealing. Let's create the Duchy of Toro and give away those titles as well. So, uh, this guy with whom we have an alliance, our son, gets that Duchy of Toro. Probably also means I don't have enough commanders anymore. No, I have still enough champions. So, the more you go to war, the lesser quality your troops are going to be overall. So you want to try and not constantly go to war. Makes sense. Other wife is pregnant. So reforming this costs us 4,150. SC will be just. I like people with a just trait. This guy is a bit of a thorn in my eye. Because he holds this, which is de jour mine. But I'm kind of hoping that he gets eaten up by the duchies that created around him because they all have de jour claims on this stuff. I have to click on that. I thought, like, how many twins did we get? Can we get you something matrilineal? That makes sense. It's a lover's pox, so that's not ideal. He's a giant. I mean, attraction goes down, but prowess is amazing. Why is this not more prominently? I don't like this uh, system here. I really don't like it. Why is this not more prominently displayed that I'm missing a counselor? Should we go on pil- come on, let's go on pilgrimage. But it's so late. Okay. As an attacker. Oh, 
I don't want to. Thank you very much. Probably on pause, and I also should turn this down again. I don't know why this is up on four again. This... This doesn't work for me. Paradox. This doesn't work for me. Why can't I set this in any way, shape, or form? Why is this... Why do you think that is a good idea? Look at how... Okay. Let's talk general interface design for a second. One click. Two click. Three click. That's too many clicks. Why not that? What are you doing? Where? What, what space? Why are we not using this space? Why? Let's check again. Maybe I didn't see an option for this. Let's turn off the suggestions. Let's turn off this. This doesn't really matter. No. Doesn't seem to be any sort of setting in that way. It's weird. Right, let's um, check out what we can build at home. We can upgrade this soon, which I think we should. Bible holding. What's there? Let's upgrade our tribal holding at home. Plus one fort level, more levies, more garrison, more income. Don't have anything to build here. So how do we, if at all, switch our... Probably not a good idea to go tribal if everyone around you is a tribe because we suffer high heavily from doing that. Right. Who are you? You're not my wife. Oh, thank you. My heart remains pure. 50 of this, yes. We are exalted among men, but not yet a living legend, whatever that might mean. The outline it doesn't really help us. Why can't I move any of this? I know I'm kind of complaining here, but it's just... Let's see, what does this bot do? Development, governments, terrain. Well, that's a little bit more useful than it was. I don't care what you get. You become whatever. Counties. Oh, I mean, this is... This is jungle. This is forest. These are hills. These are dry lands. More forests. What is mountain? Blood plains. Dry lands. This is mountain. This is actually useful. <laughs> this actually works. But why do I have to go there? Alright, we have a new alliance, which I didn't want. I am not a big fan of that. See, if uh, you become too used to certain systems you're going to have a hard time adjusting to new systems and i don't know there's so much that i feel is wrong with this not much raise some local raiders see where we can go this guy here 15 gold there 15 gold there 15 gold there
He's probably going to return the favor. But we'll just have to see. I'm I'm hoping that everything is kind of slowing down as realms get bigger. But there's just so much going on all the time. Powerful vassal demands council position. Oh, Mister, I can't change you. You're not a powerful vassal. Not good at that, though. He's not good at anything, so he will have to live with it. Yeah, I don't like this. I liked it much better when you had all the individual things. Now I'm constantly having this open. Well, thank you. That's, um, that's very exciting. That is just fantastic and interesting. So a lot has happened really quickly, but it also feels like not a lot has happened. Which is weird. Evoginia. Go there. Alliance is invalid. Yeah, okay. I don't understand how I can have alliances with my allies, uh, with my vassals. That's kind of weird. I'm fine with having non-aggression pacts there, but... I feel like tribal is all about just pushing your borders constantly. I am not so sure if I like it, especially since I can just do all this. I don't know. Well, we'll see how all this works out next time. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're having a halfway decent time with it. I know I'm complaining a lot, but some of these decisions are really kind of off-putting. And I'm pretty glad that I didn't read the reviews or anything up front because... I don't exactly see this being a 10 out of 10. And I, I love Crusader Kings 2 to death. But there are just some things that are... Not ideal yet. Sure, they get it right eventually.